Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today's topic of discussion is D value or decimal reduction time, Z value and F value. These are used to evaluate the efficiency of sterilization method. We also solve some mathematical problems on D value and Z value. This is very important topic in microbiology. For CSI NET, ICMR NET, GET and other exams, the question related to this topic is very important. So stay tuned in this video. First of all, we will discuss about the D value or decimal reduction time. D value or decimal reduction time refers to the time required at a certain temperature to kill 90% of the organism being studied. Or it is the time required at a certain temperature to reduce the microbial population by one log. So the decimal reduction time is the time at a certain temperature that kill 90% of the organism being studied or it may reduce the microbial population by one log. Thus, after a colony is reduced by one D, only 10% of the original organism remain. For example, if an organism is reduced by 90% after exposure to temperature at 245 degree Fahrenheit for 2.5 minutes, the D value would be written as D suffix 245 is equal to 2.5 minutes. This graph is taken from Prescott Microbiology. Here in the x axis, minutes of exposure to heating at 97 degree at uh, 121 degree centigrade is mentioned, whereas in the y axis, log number of cell survival is mentioned. In uh, it is found that the uh, after 3 minutes of exposure log after 3 minutes of exposure log 10 to the power 3 number cells survive whereas after 4 minutes of exposure at 121 degree centigrade the surviving cell number is log 10 to the power 2 that is 1 log reduction so here the d value is that is d 121 is 1 minute similarly uh, if the um, um, time of exposure if 5 minute for uh, at 121 degree centigrade the number of surviving cell will be log 10 to the power 1 here 2 log reduction The D value is used in the calculation of thermal death time. For different microorganisms, D value is different. D value also depends on the shape and structural component of the microorganism. Higher the temperature, more the effectiveness and less the time will be required to kill the microorganism. While lesser the temperature, more time will be required to kill the microorganism. The D value is the prerequisite for determination of the Z value and F value. Now let's solve some mathematical problem. Here the D value for Clostridium botulinum spore at 121 degree centigrade is 0 0.2 minute. What will be the decimal reduction time for reducing 10 to the power 12 spore to 1 spore that is 10 to the power 0 spore by heating at 121 degree centigrade. Here the D value mentioned is 0.2 minute at 121 degree centigrade. And you have to calculate the decimal reduction time for reducing 10 to the power 12 spore to 1 spore. That is here uh, 12 log reduction that it will take 12 D that is 0 0.2 to 12 minute that is 2.4 minute to reduce 10 to the power 12 spore to 1 spore by heating at 121 degree centigrade. So the answer is 2.54 minutes. Uh, this problem is solved by other way. Here um, uh, to solve this question we have to consider this formula. Where the uh, initial spore count is 10 to the power 12. 
that it is mentioned that while you have to determine the decimal reduction time for reducing 10 to the power 12 spore to 1 spore. So the initial spore count is 10 to the power 12 and the final spore count is 1 and the final spore count is 1 and the number of log reduction is log n0 by n and dt uh, here mentioned is 0.2 minute. Thus putting this value the answer will be 2.4 minute. So the decimal reduction time is 2.4 minute for reducing 10 to the power 12 spore to 1 spore by heating at 121 degree centigrade. Next question. The D value for Clostridium botulinum spore at 121 degree centigrade is 0 0.25 minute. What will be the decimal reduction time for 99.9% 99% destruction of the spore at 121 degree centigrade. So you have to calculate the decimal reduction time or D value for 99.99% destruction of the spore at 121 degree centigrade. Here the uh, D value at 121 degree centigrade mentioned is 2.5 minute, 0.25 minute. So to solve this uh, question, we have to consider this formula again. Here you have to assume that the initial spore count is 100. As the, um, you, uh, the we have to calculate the decimal reduction time um, uh, for destruction of 99.99 99 spore. So the final spore count will be 100 minus 99.99 that is 0 0.01. So the number of log reduction uh, is uh, 4. By putting this two value that is initial spore count and final spore count the number of log reduction is 4. Log n0 by n. Here the dt mentioned is 0 0.25 minute which is here mentioned. So the final decimal reduction time is 0 0.25 into 4 that is 1. So the answer will be 1 minute. So the, uh, the decimal reduction time for destruction of 99.99% spore at 121 degree centigrade is 1 minute. Uh, next we will discuss about the jet value. This is used in the calculation for thermal death time. The jet value for an organism is the temperature. So it is the measurement of the temperature in degrees that is Fahrenheit or Celsius that is required for thermal destruction curve to move by one log, log cycle or simply the temperature required for one log reduction in the D value. As we have already mentioned that the D value is the prerequisite to uh, determine that Z value and F value. So the temperature required for one log reduction in D value is Z value. Jet value is the number of degrees in temperature change necessary to change the D value by a factor 10. If the D value at 121 degree centigrade is 1.5 minute and jet value is 10, then D value at 131 degree centigrade is less because higher the temperature less the time will be recovered. So this uh, uh, D value at 121 degree centigrade will be uh, divided by 10 uh, to determine the D value at 131 degree centigrade and it will be 0 0.15 minute. The D value for Clostridium botulinum spore at 121 degree centigrade is 2 minute. If the F value is 10 degree centigrade then what will be the D value at 1, 1, 1 degree centigrade. So place the time, place the temperature more the time will be required. So this uh, here A value is 10 degree centigrade which is mentioned here and the initial D value here mentioned is 0 0.2 minute. So the final D value at 111 uh, degree centigrade will be 0 0.2 into 10 minute that is 2 minute. So the answer will be 2 minute. Uh, this is the question from Gate Excel Microbiology 2022. Here uh, the question is that the decimal reduction time for reducing 10 to the power 12 spore of Clostridium botulinum to 1 spore 
at 1 1 1 degree centigrade will be this so you have to determine the decimal reduction time to reduce the 10 to the power 12 spore to 1 spore at 1 1 1 degree centigrade the d value at 121 degree centigrade mentioned here is 0.2 minute the increase in temperature required to change the d value to one tenth of its initial value that is jet value is 10 degree centigrade these are mentioned here so uh, the d value clostridium botulinum spore is 2 minute at 121 degree centigrade therefore it will take 12 d or 0 0.2 into 12 minute that is 2.4 minute to reduce 10 to the power 12 spore to 1 spore by heating at 121 degree centigrade here the jet value is 10 degree centigrade and we have to determine the d value at 111 degree centigrade so the final d value will be 2.4 into 10 that is 24 minute so the answer is 24 minute the jet value is 10 degree 10 and d value is 4.5 minute at 150 degree fahrenheit what is the d value for 160 degree fahrenheit the new d value is 0 0.45 minute This means that each 10 degree Fahrenheit increase in temperature will reduce our d value by 1, one log. Conversely, our 10 degree Fahrenheit decrease in temperature will increase the d value by 1 log. So, the d value at temperature of 140 degree Fahrenheit will be 4.5 into 10 that is 45 minute. Now, last of all, we will discuss about the A value. A value is the time in minutes at a specific temperature that is usually 250 degree Fahrenheit or 121 degree centigrade. So the specific temperature is 250 degree Fahrenheit or 121 degree centigrade for a value. It is needed to kill a population of cells or spores. Finally, the application of the D and Z values. This D value and Z values are extensively used for food processing industry to destroy the spore and microorganism and increase the shelf life of the food for more videos please uh, like share and subscribe to this channel thank you